There is a lot of packs. There's so many that I don't even know what is even in these. I have maybe almost, ev almost, almost every single pack. Not quite every single one, but almost every single one that is currently in this game is going to be open. I have packs from set one. I have packs from set two. There is even some from the current set. This is the ultimate variety pack opening. The first time this has ever been done on my watch. I don't remember ever even seeing more than maybe four packs in the inventory. 50 standards. I don't even know how I got those. I have eight of the worst pack in the game. I have three of what can make you the happiest person alive or will make you shatter everything in the kitchen. There is a jumbo pack. There is many diamond duos. Christ, I still even have these around the world packs. There is a welcome to the show. There is also every single team affinity pack from set two. There is the future stars team affinity packs. There's even a lockables. Alter Ego is in the building. Set three boss pack, all-star home run derby, and then the guaranteed diamond duos packs. I even have these two damn packs on the second account. There might be more packs open today than the amount of crusty peanut butter in the kitchen sink. There's a million packs that might be opened, and these two seem to be amazing. I don't remember these ever even being bad. You get a guaranteed choice pack. I think the all-star players are currently cheaper than many of the players in this game. I'm going for the draft one because if you do get the Paul Skeens, that guy is still going for a little bit. So that might be a little bit impressive. And is it, was that, wait, wait, was that, oh wait, you do, this is the guaranteed one. Oh yeah, they're way more. Anybody by the name of Paul is intimidating. So that is the choice. Is this going to be the best round? Enrique the King. You know, I'm not just going into this expecting to open a bunch of these and to get nothing. I want this to be somewhat of a successful thing. This can't be absolutely terrible where you just have to walk away from this disappointed, get the f*** out of here and you leave and never come back. The only thing that I want from a standard pack today might be either the greatest player on the market or some more chase packs. They still didn't take Ellie out of them. Ellie is still in. I feel like you just look at the screen and standard packs just fall into your lap. It means nothing. They're all dog shit. They don't do anything for you. They might just be more annoying at this point to open. Sometimes I sit there in the inventory and just look at the amount of standard packs I have and then just refuse to open them because it's going to take 20 minutes to just be pissed off after. There's no point half the time to even look at them. So what, what am I doing here? The only goal, there's been a jersey. I used to be excited to open standard packs. Remember 20? was biting my USB cord to open them. I was a parrot for five minutes before I even saw the standard packs. Remember MLB 16? Or am I dating myself? You have a 1 in 50 chance of getting a damn 85 plus. My mouth is very dry. The, the peanut butter in the sink is the reason why for that. You could probably use that damn peanut butter as culking. I saw a video once where somebody was in Home Depot and it said they've never tried to pronounce the L in any single word more than culking. There's been almost 40 of the standards and really the only... What the? Bryce Harper went down? Nothing purple anymore excites me. I'm in Walmart looking at something purple and it's pissing me off. The $2 cup that you put your juice in. <laughs> Well, that was expected. There is eight. Ballin is a habit. I can't believe it still says one in 15. This might be more insane than the standards. One in 15 chance of getting anything besides a gold in these damn things. I don't know if it happens. I think it might be impossible. The miracle will happen today. The miracle will happen where there is a diamond pulled from a damn ballin is a habit. This one? 
Wait, what color is this? This is 90 to 95, I think. Or no, it's 90. A miracle happened. I think it did. Ball in his habit packs are a thing. Jacob DeGrom. Again? I think that was the last time that color was shown. Holy shit, don't even tell me for a second. This might go somewhat all right. Is there more? No. In what might be still the craziest thing, that three of these are worth 225,000 stubs. Three chase packs, one in one chance. Thank God they changed that. I need it. I need everything. I need Ellie. That is disappointing. These are interesting. The jumbo standards. These are interesting because you do have a one in five chance, which is significantly higher than the normal standards. I think you get like a shitload of players in these too. It's so many, it's almost like your game breaks trying to, oh, that's one. There might be more. Don't even tell me it happened again. If this is DeGrom, then that color means it's only DeGrom. Tatis! Whatever, these are awful. These are just, you know. It's like opening air. The only thing these might do for you is it gets you more collectibles if you want to do some exchanges. This is also maybe interesting. I don't know if I've ever had any success from a diamond duos pack. I don't even know if it's possible to get a diamond. Apparently it's a one in 10. I don't know how I got these either. I think if you just play conquest, they just fall in your lap. Wait, you get silvers? I think these are from set one. Matt Holiday and Jackson Holiday might still be all right. These, I don't know if those are good. Kyle Schwarber might be decent. I don't know if anybody else, that one might be good. Diamond Duos Pack 26 might be able to bring it home. That glitch out just gave me Kirk twice. Might be sad, it might not be. Around the world, I don't even know if I how- What? I don't know how I got this one either. This is- Wait a minute. Did I just get the rare round mother of shit? I think I just did it. National League West Charisma Series from set one. Now this is about as pointless as anything can be at the moment. I don't even know if I did much of the team affinity from season one. This was a captain set. I don't even know what I opened. I, this was a captain pack from set one. I don't know if this matters either. Unlockables. That's fun. This is the Around the World pack number three. Somehow the rare pack was pulled from the first one. There is still some good options in this. It's still from set one. Can miracles happen? Can they? Can they? This is crazy. Welcome to the show, which is also from set one. Still good options. You want the rare round, but still. Will it? This is weird. This is very weird. There is a lot of team affinity packs from set two now. This was again, I don't even know if I really did anything team affinity up until set three. Now this is, you can still use these guys. So this is not as useless as anything from set one. Whit Merrifield is in the building. AL East, you have...
That might be the only good one in that one. Eddie Murray might be the only one usable in that. Jimmy. Jimmy will always be here. The NL Central. Christ, they actually have good options. Adam Dunn is a psychopath in this game. I don't know why I didn't really do this team affinity. I was just not smart. Apparently that's what I am, is just stupid. With completing the team affinity program, you do get the captains. Now there is some good captains, but is... This guy looks like my damn art teacher in grade seven. I don't know who to take in that. That's just, you flip a coin. I think this is from the same one. I think. There's so many here, and there's so many that I haven't really noticed on how I even was able to get. I don't know if any of these players will technically be usable, but good for collections. Set 2, unfortunately. I don't know what was going on set 2, but nothing was very exciting. Just trying to not take the same person. That would not be good. What happens if you do that? What happens if there is a... You need a collection done, and then you have a choice between five people, and you accidentally take the same person. You might be screwed. You might never have a chance to get that player you want to collect. Some of these collectibles, can you, I think you can sell these. If you can sell these, then this might not be that bad. If you can't, then go to hell. After these tops now packs is when things do indeed get very interesting. The captains for the tops now are very, this is not bad at all. Mike Moustakis. This has never been more important. These packs might be bringing some of the most important heat. Damn, this might actually get me a, a quite bit of map. Alter Ego is from, I don't even know, because this is a choice pack and you choose one in it. You want to take the third one, I think. I think that might be the one where you get the most recent set. I think the Diamond Duos pack, I think this does give you Wait, this might give you the guaranteed one, or it doesn't. Wow, that was awful. I don't know how I was able to obtain three Season 3 XP Path Boss Packs. I need Marcus Simeon, I need Zach Gallon. That is actually very important. I think the Diamond Duos Packs will bring you what is guaranteed- Oh, not this one. Not this one, but the next one is. Or was it? Was it guaranteed? This one is 1000% the Castellanos or Castile. <laughs> well, I am an idiot. This comes down to the last two. Now, I know for a fact this doesn't guarantee anything. You have a 1 in 10 chance. This is going to be... Not the rare one. This might be the final one. I saw something good up at the top right, but something bad in the middle of my screen. Somehow this did not end terribly. Huh.